Hey everyone, it's Jay Wolf here again. Today I'm going to run through on how to use Intel's data migration software to convert your old SSD data and migrate it or merge it over into your new Intel SSD drive. So the first thing we're going to do here is go to intel.com and in this box here, and what would you like to find today? Just put data migration software and then you will go to support down here on the left and you will go to software and drivers and it will be the first one here that pops up Intel data migration software and the first one up here at the top you're just going to okay, click download. Gonna download we're just going to click on the install feature here and install Intel data migration software and it looks like we're going to have a restriction here. We're going to have to actually hook up the Intel SSD drive before it's going to let us install this. And since we're going to be doing this on a desktop, we're going to have to connect this some way to your desktop. What you're going to need is a power cable, which I have plenty here. I have a whole entire uh, string routed, so I will just plug it in here to the power. And then you're also going to need a SATA cable. I actually used the one that came with it. I didn't want to dig my other ones out, so that's a good use of that. And we will just plug this in. And now the Intel drive is actually connected. Now that we've actually connected the Intel drive, we can see that the software is detecting it right here. So let's see if we can go ahead and install the software. All right, it is installing now, so you're just going to follow the so steps jump here to the install. software. One thing that I that I might recommend is also before you actually go in and start cloning or migrating your data from one drive to the next, you might do a backup of your system. Just do a system image, and basically what you'll do is you go down here at the start and type in backup, and as a backup and restore here and you just set up backup right up here and it'll walk you through the steps that'll be good a uh, good option in case something happens and you end up messing up uh, your boot drive that'll give you a little bit of insurance there that's another way you can migrate your data over and we don't need the full version we're just going to click the start now and we're going to do automatic and it's showing all my drives. I have a, a decent amount of drives here. And the first one, it says select the source hard drive from the list below. And it has a named here. Here's my Samsung drive, which you see is full. It's currently uh, at its max capacity, so that's why I'm migrating over. Just click Next. And it says select the target disk where you want it to locate at. We want the Intel drive. And it'll just proceed from here. And it just has a rundown. It's going to copy from my Samsung 830 drive to my Intel 330 drive. And you just hit the proceed. And you can also click to shut down the computer when you start it. Uh, it's going to require a reboot. All right, now what it's doing is going through the Intel data migration software, and it's going to go through some steps here to actually convert your old data from your other hard drive into Process. your new. You're going to see congratulations here. Uh, your old data has been synchronized and migrated over to your other hard drive. So you so just now hit the boot key has been to continue. Complete. And as you can see, it has recognized our Intel. So I'll say drive here. It says a restart is required. You must restart your computer to apply these settings. So we're going to restart now. Officially use the Intel data migration software to convert our data from a Samsung SSD to an Intel SSD. And just to do a confirm, just uh, click the start menu and do a search for computer management. And here you can go into storage and disk management and we can see down here it actually has our C drive which is our primary boot drive 
and it has it right here. So everything was uh, converted over successfully. Everything appears to run uh, to run normally. Steam was running running back up. Uh, Adobe was 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 running back up pretty easily. Everything everything seems to be doing pretty good. It boots in about about that 15 second range. So, so that concludes my mini guide on how to use uh, Intel's data migration software to convert your data from an old hard drive or SSD to your new Intel one. As you can see, we successfully completed it and it actually automatically activated Windows. There might be a time where it comes up where you actually have to enter in your, enter your Windows code to activate it or you can call in. But it already did it automatically, so we're ready to go.